Marriage, like our creation as men and women, owes its very existence to God. It is God's will and intention that a husband and wife should love each other and be faithful to each other throughout their lives. It is also God's will that they should make a responsible decision regarding parenthood, and that if any children are born to them, they should enjoy the security of family and home. Such a marriage must not be entered into lightly or thoughtlessly, but with mutual respect, with reverence for God, and with the intention to obey God's will. Then we can be assured that we will have God's joy and peace. Andrew and Monica, you have made known your desire to be married, and no one has shown a valid reason why you may not be united in Christian marriage. If either of you knows of a reason why you may not be married, I charge you before God, the searcher of all hearts, to declare it now. For unless your marriage is based upon mutual honesty and trust and love, your marriage will not be successful and you will not receive the blessing of God. <laughs> Monica and Andrew, here in this sanctuary where we celebrate God's presence and in the presence of your families and friends, you have come to affirm the choice that you have made of each other as your lifelong partner in marriage. Although your lives are your own, they are also inseparably bound up with other lives, first with your parents, then with sisters, brothers, and other relatives and friends. Today, you come not to break those old ties, but to transform them and create a new one as you bind yourselves together with love and commitment in the covenant bond of marriage with this, your chosen partner. As you share your lives, let it not be at the expense of your own individuality, but let your uniqueness be enhanced by the strength of this common bond of love that you share. In love, accept the mystery of each other as you seek to discover the mystery of being and of being together. To love well is not to dominate, but rather to give of yourselves to each other and to help each other to grow to your full human potential. Let your love be outgoing, first to each other, and then together to your families and friends, and then to the world. May the great example of love that we see and experience in Jesus the Christ strengthen you as you begin this new relationship of love and loyal commitment. Let us listen to the scripture readings that Monica and Andrew have chosen for today. First, Psalm 121. I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where will my help come? My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. He who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time on and forevermore. And from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verses 4 to 8. Love is kind and patient, never jealous, boastful, proud, or rude. Love isn't selfish or quick-tempered. It doesn't keep a record of wrongs that others do. Love rejoices in the truth, but not in evil. Love is always supportive, loyal, hopeful, and trusting. Love never fails. Love should be your guide. And finally, from the letter to the Ephesians, chapter 3, verses 4 to 19. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth takes its name. I pray that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant that you may be strengthened in your inner being with power through his Holy Spirit, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith as you are being rooted and grounded in love. I pray that you may have the power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. May God bless to our understanding these words from Scripture.
Amen. Let us once again join our hearts and minds in prayer. Out of this tangled world, O God, you have drawn Andrew and Monica together and are binding them firmly by the sure insights of love. We thank you for the homes in which they have been nurtured in their formative years, for parents who have sacrificed on their behalf, for the church which has awakened them to the meaning of eternal life. Loving God, bless them as they come before you and their families and friends to affirm the choice that they have made of each other and their intention to establish a home where your love may be celebrated in the family. Grant them a seriousness of purpose that they may be kept from empty words and casual commitments. Be with them and let your love be the example and the power to help their love to grow. May you nurture them all the days of their lives, that their dreams and their aspirations for life may find fulfillment in the doing of your will in all things. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. At this time, I would invite the congregation to stand, please. Do you, the families and friends of Monica and Andrew, give them your blessing and promise to uphold and care for them in their marriage? If so, please answer, we do. We do. Andrew, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together following God's law in the holy estate of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her through all the circumstances of life and forsaking all others? Keep only to her as long as you both shall live? Yes, I will. Monica, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together following God's law in the holy estate of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him through all the circumstances of life and forsaking all others, keep only to him as long as you both shall live? I will. Please be seated. Monica, my love, my heart, and my joy, today with God as my strength, I take you to be my wedded wife. I promise to share all that I am with you. I promise to share my frustrations, my failures, my joys, my triumphs with you. I promise to share my past, my future, and this moment with you. I promise to love you unconditionally in good times and in bad times. I promise to wipe away your tears with my smile, my love, and my compassion. I promise to respect and love you and to honor our relationship and our family for, the, for all the days of my life. <laughs> Andrew, I feel like the luckiest woman in the world today. Not only am I marrying my soulmate, but today I marry my best friend. You are smart, strong, and a genuine person. As lucky as I feel, I know that luck is what you make it. With God as our foundation, this is a relationship that we have built together, growing and nurturing it into the most beautiful love. From the moment we started on this journey three years ago, your beauty, heart, and mind continue to inspire me to be the best person I can be. Andrew, today I take you to be my husband. I vow to help create a life that we can cherish. I vow to be honest, caring, and faithful. I promise to love you unconditionally, in times of fortune and of hardship. I promise to be by your side, to be your lifelong love, to have an everlasting marriage, and to be your best friend for The symbol of the wedding ring has traditionally been used by the church as a symbol of love and marriage. For if you look at the wedding band, you see that it is made out of precious metal and is a seamless circle 
having no beginning and no ending. Love is very precious. It also has no beginning and no end. If we were to ask Monica and Andrew when they began to love each other, I doubt that they could tell us. They could tell us when they met and other significant dates in their relationship. But love is something that is there only when we realize it is and then can't imagine when it wasn't. So love has no beginning and no ending. Andrew, I give you this ring. Andrew, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and loyalty. As a sign of my love and loyalty. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. Monica, I give you this ring. Monica, I give you this ring. As a sign of my love and loyalty. As a sign of my love and loyalty. That you may wear it. That you may wear it. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. <laughs> Let these rings continue to you both as a symbol of the value, the purity, and the constancy of true wedded love and as a sign and seal of the vows that you have just made. Amen. Amen. For as much as you, Andrew, and you, Monica, have made this solemn covenant of marriage before God and before all of us here, and have pledged your vows to each other and have confirmed them by the joining of your hands and the giving and receiving of a ring, now, therefore, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, I declare you to be husband and wife. Amen. Amen. People must not separate what God has joined together. <laughs> Let us once again join our hearts and minds in prayer. O God, Lord of life and love eternal, we thank you for the gift of marriage. We bless you for the joy which Monica and Andrew have found in each other and for the covenant of marriage which they have made before you. Gracious God, your love is everlasting. Grant that Andrew and Monica may live together in love and unity all the days of their lives. Give them health, prosperity, and peace. Strengthen them to obey and serve you, that they may walk in the steps of Jesus, your anointed one. And when the joys and sorrows and all the good and evil of this passing world are ended, let them inherit your promises and share in your eternal glory. O God, look in favor upon all our homes, defend them from every evil that would threaten them from without or within, and supply their needs according to the riches of your grace. O Lord, grant that being led and strengthened by your Spirit, we may each look to the good of others in word and deed and grow in grace as we advance in years. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who taught his friends and followers to pray together, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Andrew and Monica, go now carrying with you the peace of Christ, the love of God, and the encouragement and support of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Monica and Andrew, as a symbol of this new level that you have entered in your relationship,